realize this was such an auspicious occasion, but you all look good out there today, and thank you very much for coming. You do have a special guest, and I'm not here. The Fleetwood Diner, just down the road, we were there. You should have seen Vice President Pence work that crowd. I mean, it was amazing. Just a, a people's person out there as he dealt with people individually, where they are. And as I travel all around this country, people tell me, time after time, from the south to the north to the east to the west, you tell President Trump and Vice President Pence to keep doing what they're doing because we like it. Just never, you know, it's just amazing to me how this guy from New York City, this guy from Indiana just married up and uh, really talking about agriculture. I was just talking about a few things that you know that have happened now. The use of E15 and ensure that 15 billion gallons will equal 15 billion gallons in the 20th. We're not stopping there. We're going around the world trying to promote and sell the products that you all do such a great job uh, doing. That was one of the things that really troubled the president, vice president, as we saw uh, being shut out of the Canadian dairy market with him. And my ag community stood proud with the President Trump and Vice President Prince as they stood with you and delivered a command of a deal with the China for the future. And it's going to be great for our U.S. agriculture. Uh, so it's happened. He was uh, Indiana governor, as you know, governor of a farm state where agriculture was pretty important. Who do you think was there whispering in his uh, president's ear about all these kind of deals and encouraging? He couldn't have, President Trump could not have had a better wingman when it came to agricultural issues than he's had. And I think you've seen that. So someone who deserves a lot of thanks for urging the president on and knowing the immense impact that these decisions have on American agriculture, that's Vice President Mike Pence. Born just south of here in Columbus, Indiana, Vice President Pence is the son of a farm state. He actually, as you've heard, probably grew up with a cornfield in his backyard. He knows what it takes to farm. Watching the full farming cycle was meaningful to him, and he developed a great appreciation for agriculture. He Tra traveled all around the world as an kind of unapologetic advocate for our nation and for American agriculture. And he knows how important American farmers and ranchers are to our entire community. I could go on and on about him, but let me tell you folks, know him personally, I've never known a more decent human being that embodies the American spirit and values and ethics and faith of America than Mike Pence. Help me wait for you.
be friends, but that doesn't mean that business isn't business. And this is the exact approach that President Trump has taken on trade. I mean, I'll never forget. I'll never forget. I won't say what country it was. I think you were in the room. And we were sitting at a table, and we were all on this one side of the table, our whole delegation, and their whole delegation was on the other side of the table. And the president sits down, and he says, hey, Mr. Prime Minister, great to see you. He says, Melania loves your wife. I hope you're having a great time. How was your dinner last night? Great, great, great. Great to see you. We love having you here. Everybody's smiling, this and that. And he goes, okay, but you're killing us on cars. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to stop. And I saw him do the same thing on dairy. I saw him do the same thing on agriculture. I am telling you what. You have a man who is going to keep fighting every single day for jobs and opportunities in the city and on the farm in all of our trade negotiations with countries around the world. And he's going to do it like a man. National candidates are, are denigrating America's farmers. I mean, one candidate, I'm sure you all saw it, one of their other side's candidates for president said, I can teach anybody to be a farmer. <laughs> yeah. He said, it's a process. You dig a hole, you put a seed in, you put dirt on top, you add water, up comes corn. I have never heard a more uninformed, ignorant statement about agriculture. <laughs> Thank you.